Okay, guys, for this video, I would like to share how to use DS18D20 temperature sensor and this 2 times 16 LCD display here. And this is 10 kilo ohm variable resistor. And this Arduino Uno. And we have breadboard. And we have some jumper wire. So we're going to measure the temperature value using the display. So the first we just place the bread on the breadboard here lc display and we place variable resistor 10 kilo ohm and here the breadboard so from arduino 5 volt and the ground we take the power So 5 volt is connect to the breadboard positive and ground connect to the breadboard negative. So variable resistor, the first pin is the positive in the middle is uh, contrast for the signal and the last pin is the negative. So we're going to connect. So positive wire connect to the first pin of variable resistor. A negative wire, negative jumper. We connect the last pin here. Connect to the negative line of the breadboard here. And so we're trying to connect from LCD to the Arduino. So LCD VSS is connect to the ground VSS is ground and VDD VDD is positive VDD is positive and VO the signal pins of the variable resistor here So RS connect to this pin number seven. This the pin number seven of the Arduino. And RW RW is connect to the crown. RW is connect to the negative of the breadboard here. And E another pin is connect to pin number A then we didn't use D0, D1, D2, D3 we didn't use so start from this pin number 4 D sorry start from D4 here D4 connect to pin pin 9 and D5 connect to pin 10 and D6 connect to pin 11 and D7 connect to pin 12 so A A is for anode so anode is positive longer wire N is positive. K is for ketop. So ketop is negative. And now this is eighteen B twenty temperature sensor. This sensor is you can use for uh, water uh, because of this is a waterproof and you can use just like the normal outdoor temperature so there's three wire red is for positive black is for the negative and yellow is for the signal place like this 
and this one is 10k resistor fixed resistor you can use 4.7k to 10k in between so signal to the positive wire you need to uh, connect with this resistor here so this will divide the voltage then they will get the temperature value and after this red positive to the positive of the breadboard here and negative to negative of the breadboard here and the last this is the signal wire so the signal from the sensor signal pin is connected to digital pin number two of the Arduino so the wiring is complete now we're going to upload the code so the power is on everything and this is contrast LCD display Okay, now we're going to upload the code. If you are the first time you're using uh, this DS18B20 sensor, you need to download and install the library file. <coughs> so now here, you just type uh, Yes, 18B20. Okay, so Dallas temperature sensor, I already installed it. If you haven't installed, you just install this uh, this file, this library file. After the ins you install, close, and now select the board. We are using Arduino Uno, and we select to Arduino Uno, and we select is the pop com then now you upload the code okay now done upload okay now done upload so we already have the temperature here if you want to okay so this is to adjust the LCD screen So now this is the room temperature. So normal room temperature is 29 degrees Celsius. So now our room temperature is 29 degrees Celsius. So if we apply the heat here, uh, so this is where I have the hot water right here. So room temperature is 29 degrees Celsius. If I put this sensor probe to my hot water, you will see the temperature difference. Let's test. So this is a waterproof, so you can uh, you don't have to worry. You just put into the inside the water. So I'm using hot water. Wow, it's very fast. So the temperature is a uh, very high because of my hot water here. So how hot is this water? Fifty-eight. Wow, fifty-nine, sixty keep increasing so I just show you this is a waterproof temperature sensor so it's very hot and here I have cold water cold water I put into cold water here let's see I think this should be cooled in down so the temperature is decreased because of I'm using cool water here so this temperature is very good that you can use for as the waterproof but the thing is this is where we just display uh, the temperature 
So in the ne in the next video, I'm going to sh I'm going to show uh, I'm going to make the next video how this temperature we're going to control. So I hope you understand this video and thank you for watching.